and I invite your presence. I invite you. I hope that you're having a blessed morning, and I hope that this day brings you joy and much clarity. This is a time that I have been thinking about for a while, and that is to just sit down and be transparent in my relationship with the Lord. We are here in this time, in this moment, and we have been created to worship God. That is the purpose. And in this born-again lifestyle, yes, I said born-again lifestyle, we are here to draw closer to the one who created us, the creator of the universe. We bow in our time of fellowship with him, and that is the time that we become one with him, and that is the time that we feel the most peace. You see, we all were created to worship God, and that is why God has created each and every one of us, including everything. The Bible says that all things were created to worship Him. Glory be to our Father God. He's the creator of everything, and that includes you. And so you have a purpose, and your purpose is to draw near to God. And so when we see a lot of things, you know, a lot of different ways, I'm here to tell you that there is a clear path, the truth, the way, the only way, the only truth to our Father God who created everything, and that is through Jesus Christ. Yeshua. And so this opportunity, I'm inviting you to just come along as we focus, as we be still before the Lord, and that would draw us in to his presence, and that is where we receive our peace. Whether you know it or not, everyone is searching for peace. Peace. Peace within your own being and that comes from aligning yourself being centered in his will okay so you're invited to come along and so just come on and breathe in just relax inhale and exhale inhale and exhale. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bow to you and I invite your presence. I invite you to minister to us and to guide us into all truth. You are the spirit of life. You are the light of the world. And Lord, I ask that you guide those who have clicked on in this video as well as me into all truth let us experience your peace this morning let us experience your grace and let us have a beautiful day in this day that you've made rejoicing and being glad in it thank you father in the name of your son the christ jesus the christ yeshua i bow and make this prayer known to you amen now that is how you enter into the presence of the Lord, just acknowledging him and aligning yourself up to be, to communicate directly to God. We have been given this blessing to be able to pray and communicate to the creator of the whole entire universe. He is the creator of the universe. And we bow to him. Glory to God. I would like for you to join me as we reflect on these things. Okay. 
Reflect on this. Meditate on this. I am a spirit. Reflect that you are a spirit. A spirit. You are a spirit. And you are joined to the Lord. He that is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. So meditate on the fact that you are joined to the Lord and you are one with him. He that is joined to the Lord is one spirit with God. He that is joined to the Lord is one spirit with God. Say that. He that is joined to the Lord is one spirit with God. That means you and I, if you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, have been brought in to oneness with the Lord. Hallelujah. That is something to rejoice about, to be thankful for, and to acknowledge. Okay, I am a spirit. I have a soul. Your soul, your mind, your will, and your emotions. Your mind, your will, and your emotions. Okay, and you live in a body. Okay, I am a spirit, I have a soul, and I live in the body. Now, bring all that into Christ. Christ, we are joined to the Lord, one spirit with Him. We have the mind of Christ. We say, not our will, but God's will. And we live in a body, and now we receive the body of Christ, okay? We receive that we have been crucified in Christ. Nevertheless, we live, yet not us, but Christ liveth in us. And the life we now live in this body, we live by the faith of the Son of God. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Any glory from the story is going to be because of Christ in you, the hope of glory. And that is where we line ourselves up to this truth, which is everything was created to worship God, and we are joined to the Lord in one spirit with Him. We have the mind of Christ, And we are now considered the body of Christ, okay? Hallelujah. Just meditate on that. Inhale. Exhale. Meditate on that. I am a spirit. I'm joined to the Lord. I'm one spirit with Him. My mind, my will, my emotions I've given to the Lord. So now I receive the mind of Christ. Not my will, but His will. Now I am the body of Christ. His body. Glory to God. His body is not broken. His body is life. His body is health. His body is strength. Glory to God. Because when he was on the cross, he bore our sin, he carried our diseases, and by his stripes we're healed. So now when Father God looks at us, he can see his son, and we are hidden in his son. And therefore, because of this, you see that pillow? You can have it all. And that would be him. Glory to God, lining yourself up with the Lord God, the creator of the universe, and everything that he has. He has given to us. No good thing will he withhold from us. So that is something to be thankful for. That is something to praise his holy name for and be thankful unto him. Glory to God. So let's continue. I am in the world, but I am not of the world. You ever felt like you are in a place, in this place, but not really here? You feel like, I don't fit in. 
I don't fit in the world. I'm not talking about the earth. I'm talking about the world system. You don't fit. You don't feel like you fit because you know why? Because you're not from here. God knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. And you're here on assignment. And the assignment is that you were created to worship God. And you were here to let your light shine so that others will come into the truth of why they were created. And you were created with a purpose to bring a light and to be used by the Lord for good. Hallelujah. In God there is no darkness. And in Him we are able to fellowship with Him through His Son, Jesus the Christ, Yeshua the Christ. So blessings to you when you meditate on this. So, you're not really of this world. God is peace. In Him, there is no darkness. In Him is only light. In Him, we are one. And sanctified, set apart for His glory. Consecrated, set apart for His his glory. <sighs> Meditate on that. <sighs> Hallelujah. Just think about that. You fit perfectly in Christ. You abide in Him. He abides in you. And that is where you have your being. That is where your purpose is, and the purpose of the Lord through you is love, and joy, and peace, and patience, and kindness, and gentleness, and faithfulness, and meekness, and self-control. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. So, you're set apart and we worship the Lord and by the Spirit of Christ. And God says in His Word that He's looking for worshipers who will worship Him in spirit and in truth. No need to feel guilty or ashamed just feel blessed and loved because you're coming to Father God through His Son, which is perfect. Jesus Christ is perfect. So you're coming to Father God through His Son, Jesus Christ, a sacrifice that never sinned, but took our sin and gave us His righteousness and His blood has completely made us clean and complete and whole and redeemed from the curse and accepted in the beloved. You are loved. Meditate on that. I am loved. I have been reconciled to God. I have been born again and born again having the spirit of Christ life. Christ life, good life, born again life, and that life is accepted by Father God. No need to be worried about, I don't measure up. Of course you do. Not, not at all. But because you've accepted the free gift of his righteousness, he measures up and he is good. And you've received the grace he was given grace without measure. He is grace. By His grace, we are saved through faith. It's a gift from God, lest any man should boast of works. And so now you are one with Him. You are the body of Christ. You are loved. And it's all about Jesus. Line yourself up with what God says. His word, settle it in your heart right now. 
that everything God has said in his word is true. And God says he loves you, even if it's something you don't agree with, even if it's something that you struggle with, give it to him and say, Lord, I receive that you are right. Your word is true. And if you're struggling with something, ask him, Lord, I give this to you. I line myself up with what you say is right. And I give this to you. Help me. And you will find help. And you will find grace. Jesus overcame the world, and he has deprived the world from its ability to harm you. We have everlasting life in Christ. So, may God continue to strengthen you. May God continue to reveal this to you of how he loves you with an everlasting love. And we will close with this scripture. Let's meditate on this. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And we settle it. Father, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, power, because you have created all things, and for your pleasure they were and are created. Revelations 4.11 Okay, 1 Chronicles 29 and 12. Because you have created all things, and for your pleasure they are and were created. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, the majesty for all that is in heaven and in the earth is yours. And yours is the kingdom. And through Christ, you can have it all. Because he is everything. Hallelujah. I hope this lesson has been a blessing to you. Remember this in your time of meditation. Continue to think on the good things that God has given you. In Him, you have the victory. If you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you do subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you will be notified for future videos. God loves you with an everlasting love. And if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ, pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive your son. I believe in my heart that you so love the world that you gave your only begotten son that whosoever believe in you shall not perish but have everlasting life. Thank you for cleansing me from all of my sin and shortcomings. And thank you. Thank you for giving me life and filling me up with you, your presence, making me one with you because he that is joined to the lord is one spirit with him blessings and i'll see you in the next video